I greet you again in the name of Jesus. This time I want to show you this other wolf biting other wolves. Yes, this man, J. Israel, is a wolf, is a thief. He's also like the people he's condemning. So now listen to what he says, and then I'll show you where he is pimping. I'll show you where he's, devour he's devouring wolves. Yeah, he's a pimp, this man. So I'll show you again. Jesus uh, uh, walked into the temple and he whipped people out. So all of you get out. One by one, get out. What okay. was that Before you go far, you see, wolves are very enterprising animals. When you see them fighting among themselves, they are fighting for sheep, they are fighting for territory, they want to dominate. So here, he is blaming other wolves like him. Why? Because the territory is small. They are fighting for pasture, they are fighting for sheep. Listen to what he is saying. Selling doves, get out. What are you selling? You are selling wristbands, out. What are you selling? You are selling anointing oil, puma, out. What are you selling? You are selling stickers, oh, puma, out. What are you? What are you selling? You are selling uh, anointed towels, for what, out. Tell me one man of God right now who's using his own anointing oil as a hand sanitizer. Okay, listen. From the surface, what he is saying is very credible. And I agree with him on that. That there is no man of God or these so-called papas who are using their oil, anointing oil, oil as sanitizers. There is no one. He is correct. Let's continue. No one. Here, here. Tell me now. Mm -hmm. We are in quarantine together. We are quarantined together. We are isolated together. Tell me now. That's true. What he's saying is, is true. I agree with him. 100% right. All those pastors who sell anointing oil. Tell me if there's any pastor you've heard mm -hmm. that is saying my anointing oil can work as a hand sanitizer. Tell me of all the pastors all over the world and all the prophets who've been claiming that they can heal the sick. Who've been claiming that they're all powerful and mighty? Tell me one of those pastors. Do you hear that? For coronavirus patients. No, That's you correct. Know. That's you true. Come and tell me that even after this corona passes, you will still march back to that church. You need deliverance. <laughs> you also need deliverance. I will show you, you that he also needs deliverance. After this one. Corona passes, you will still <laughs> take your Bible and say, Papa, pray for me. It's going to be exciting this year. I'm going to get just a day. You are a fool. You still take a Bible and say, I'm, I'm, I, want to, I want the men of God to pray for me. I want to go and line up for deliverance. Mm -hmm. If you could not pray for any coronavirus patient. It's true. So let me declare and make this bold statement tonight. Yes, any pastor who cannot pray for coronavirus patients now is prohibited <laughs> after coronavirus to be calling for healing services. <laughs> any pastor who cannot go to the hospital right Okay. It's now Sorry. to pray for coronavirus patients. Mm. Let us not hear you or see you on the poster after corona has passed, mm. calling people for healing and deliverance. Mm. Thunder will strike you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Thunder will fire you wherever you are. Mm. If you have power of healing, call for a healing and deliverance session at your house. Tell them, bring coronavirus patients to my house. This is the time where the power that you claim to have must be seen. Powerful words. Very true. You heard that. So now, I want to show you something. This was J. Israel talking about yes. the... Welcome back, everybody. Let just we continue our discussion. With... This is out. I don't know this. It's nothing to do with what we're talking about. So you heard him. He is talking about pastors who are cheating people, claiming they have powers. And what he is saying is true. I agree with him. But look at this. Look at this. That's J. Israel. Let's go. Okay, let me go. There, bear with me. That's J. Israel. Sorry for that. Let me just go and wipe out everything. 
This is technology, by the way. So, mm -hmm. J Israel. Okay. Let me try to see if I can. If I can. I'm trying to to look for you more. Okay. Prophet J Israel. Okay. Let me try to to do like this. Space. If it agrees, then I will. Okay, that's perfect. It's coming. So you heard in the video I played first that was J. Israel, so called prophet. He's a fake prophet, I know. You know what I'm talking about. So he was condemning, he was criticizing, he was exposing other wolves. Look at the same man who was blaming other pastors. Listen. Listen. That's the same man. There is a next level that is taking everybody. Somebody say next level. It, I love you lot. Somebody say next level. Somebody say next level. Somebody say next level. Apostle, I'm seeing um, uh, this is a man. His leg is cut off. That's Israel. This one. The name of the spirit. Yeah, Look at that. that. I'm hearing a name like Tutusa. The Vicarnal Tutusa. The Lord said, I must tell you. For the sake of clarity and a straight record, J. Israel and Apostle Moshala, they were working together. If you Google other videos, you will see that they are now fighting. The other one is turning against the other, the other turning against the other. So, but in this case or in this clip, they were working together. They brought forward a man who was so allegedly involved. He was hit by a car or a taxi or a combi. And then his leg got broken. And then he is coming for healing. Look at that. In J. Israel's church or his meeting and the Apostle Motala. I don't know whose church it was, but they were working together. Anyway, they are all wolves. They are all the same. Look at that. Look. That's J. Israel. This one. A wolf devouring other wolves. Benson goes in and you were hit by a text. What chase I take? Is that correct? In Abilunga Ronto. When the taxi hits you, I think of the text of Chaisa. I see in the realm of the spirit. You see? A wolf. Exactly what they do. He's a wolf also. Like a white taxi with some lines on the side. And a line in the middle. I'm selling number plate. It was a CA. You want the number plate? It was 842. 842. It hits this man. It goes to the spirit. When this man was. Okay. Do you know what? The case is here. He's doing exactly what his so called spiritual father before uh, Lukau was exposed, what he used to do. So, what happened here is he had information about this man who was, called, who was involved in a so called accident. So, now what they do, these boys, is that before this man comes to church, they collect his information, everything to do with this so called man in a wheelchair or in, a, in crutches, whatever. So, now what is J. Israel saying? I see in the realm of the spirit the exact way Bushiri does it. The exact way uh, this so-called Motada, Apostle Motada does it. The exact way which all these pimps do. So that's what he is doing. So now he has turned against his other so-called prophets. Look, listen. Doing. But he has turned against the other for what? For cash. 
Do you see? This is the same clip. Now they have deceived the simple, these confused people who cannot learn the truth. So now this gentleman, let me just rewind. You see this gentleman before you understand and hear what he has to say. I will rewind and then I will show you when he is wearing a suit. In the same meeting where they were talking about the men in a in a, in, a, in, in crutches or the men whose whose leg whose so called leg was put in place, which was a lie. Of course, you know he was lying. So look at this. I will rewind. This man, as you see him, this one, he is the same guy. Look. The taxi driver thought you were dead. The taxi driver, what did you say? I must stop. I'm seeing the taxi. This is the taxi, like a white taxi with some lines on the side. Is there a line in the middle? I'm seeing the number plate. It was a C A. What the number plate was C A. Eight four two. Eight four two. It hits this man. It looked. It was a spirit. When this man was hit by the taxi, I'm not going to change my taxi. The taxi driver thought he was dead. The taxi driver thought he was dead. He took that man. That's the man. So, Mothala, Apostle Mothala and J. Israel are in the same pyramid scheme. They are wolves of the feather. They are working together. So, this man invited this man or whoever invited the other, but they are working together. So, now, listen to this. He is seeing this man hit by a taxi, blah, 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 blah. What happened? He had all the information about the men in the crutches. So look at this man now. I will continue playing it. I'm seeing him along airport road. The morning I said, I said airport. And the taxi driver dumped him along the last road. Because he thought this man was dead. The accident happened in a place right here. In the This is a place called Sight C. This is a place called C. Look at him. This is your favorite prophet, Apostle Muslim. This is the guy. What is he now doing? Listen. Listen. Joshua Mothala. I want people who are going to plant a seed of 700 red. About my case, it's urgent. You call the call center. Both so, J. Israel and Apostle Muthala are working together. They have deceived. Look at this unbelievable. J. Israel and Apostle Mutlala replaces a missing leg. Do you believe that? That is a lie. Blue lie. So now, J. Israel is the guy who is exposing other false prophets. Whereas he is also in the equation. What is my point? My point is, watch out for J. Israel. Now listen to this guy. He is telling that gullible crowd. The people are shouting, yeah! Where they are shouting, and they think they are shouting for a man whose hip has been replaced. And you know it's a lie. So now, if he claims to have replaced a hip, why can he not also join the people who are praying for the coronavirus or who claim to be claim, saying they can pray for the coronavirus. So what, in other words, what he is saying, he has power. If he can replace a limp, what can cause him not to pray for a coronavirus? But now what is he doing? He is blaming other false prophets. You know why? He started it exactly the time of Lukau was exposed. So he said, advantage in. Lukau has been exposed. I can start exposing him. And then in so doing, I will draw disciples to myself and get money. What is the name of the game? What is the name of the game? In South Africa, they say chelet, money, cash, imali, inyugu. These guys, they want money. The name of the game is the fittest. You know, when you are fit, survival of the fittest, you turn against your friend all for cash. So if, let me show you something. 
between the two. They have turned against each other. They are now fighting each other, this one. You know, this one is saying, how come you are now exposing us? That's where the bone of contention. Let me just show you the video where they are fighting. And then you will watch for yourself. I'll just show you the video and I will not play. Let's go. Okay, you know what? You know, you understand? They are so long, these videos. You can just say, just J Israel versus Moshala. You'll see it will come out. They are fighting. They are at each other's throats. But what is my point? My point is that J Israel is exposing other false pro prophets when he is one. Mark, watch out for J Israel. He's a false prophet also. But he's doing it in a very clever way. Thank you.